Hello everyone. How's everyone doing today? I am going to flip this thing around. If you're watching, don't really want to look at myself. Um, the camera's doing this in and out thing, but that's what's kind of bothering me right now. That's why I'm mentioning it. I know it's not a. I'm probably gonna put this I'm like recording the sound separately not that it matters but that is something that keeps going and I'm, not, I'm just trying to figure it out um because I am aware that it does that um how are you all doing though it's nine o'clock on a Friday oh It's nine o'clock on a Saturday. You hear the crowd shuffles in. Um, yeah, it's Friday, February 16th. Um, it's doing the thing again because do, 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 do. it's so weird. Like, why does it do that? I'm thinking maybe it's because it's an old camera. Or something's just wrong with it. I don't know. It stopped. That's why I feel like I'm like on my the edge of my seat with it. <laughs> it's so <laughs> It's just funny at this point. Um It's kinda of making me not be able to like think. <laughs> If this is your first time watching me, um, that's what I, or listening to me, I, my name is Lucy Sims, I am 23 years old, that's why I hesitated after the name thing, because it's not my real name, uh, something about me, I am an open book, I really am, like, if you ask me anything, I will tell you I, I want to be open like that I feel like I grew up around where I didn't see it that often with the people closest to me so I guess I want to be an open book for people I mean not everything oh my gosh there's a dried contact stuck to the Lamp. I haven't worn contacts in years. I think 2021 summer or August. I don't really know. It might have been early August. That's why I got LASIK. And then a couple days later, I decided to go back to school. I was to make my mom happy that's what it was but um I think LASIK like changed my life like it really helped me see made things easier in a lot of ways I did write notes and my one note says my mind and my emotions, and the second one says, Serial has betrayed me. It really has. Serial. I love cereal, one of my favorite foods. If I was on a deserted island and I could have my own food court, I'd have a cereal bar for sure. But my mind just doesn't agree with it. It doesn't. Did I say my mind? I meant my body. And so watching myself on the last podcast I did, it's so trippy watching yourself, first of all, or listening to yourself. It's trippy. It's cringy. It's weird. Um, and, like, it's especially weird because it's like, that's is that what I'm like? It's, like, crazy. It's like, <laughs> it's like really? Oh... Uh, but, like, I was saying, I said a bunch of words, and it's like, I didn't think I said that. <laughs> like, where did, 
I didn't say that. <laughs> it was funny. Um, but, yeah. I was breaking a lot, because, out a lot, because of the dairy I'm going to blame. I think there's a lot of factors, but. I don't know, I haven't had milk in a since Monday or Sunday, I guess. Um, that's what I came home and I had cereal after the Super Bowl. And I was on... My stomach was not agreeing with it. I was on the toilet for a while. See, I'm an open book. Um... I was on the toilet for a while, and you know when you're doing like soul work, that's what it was like. But this is kava tea. Usually, you like mint tea and aloe vera juice. I need to just order it. I need to just order it. I think I've written it down somewhere to order. Aloe vera juice is. I used to do that every day for um a couple years ago and I just sometimes you I can't find it in the store but it really helps you cleanse out like at the middle of the night and tip it did um help me uh pass a drug test one time like unknowingly (laughs) so that's a tip I googled it and it people have used it before for that and I'm like oh um had no idea but I mean it worked so um see my mind and emotions goes off like I know I talk about I don't stay on one topic I go I go and I talk and I go, my, my my emotions lead to me, and sometimes my mind leads me, I don't know, I think that's like my pers- my personality is a lot with my mind and my emotions, I just showered, um, yeah, I was thinking, I was on the toilet for a while, and I was like, I'm not... Like, I just needed a reset, and a good reset to do, like, for anyone, but for me, I have, I did a water fast on Monday or something. That's what, I'm not, you're not really supposed to talk about it when you're doing it, Um, because in the Bible it says, like, you're not supposed to, like, boast about it or, like, talk about it when you're doing it. So even talking about it right now, I'm like, should I? Um, but I did it and it made me feel better Um, reset and then like I felt amazing the next day I didn't even like eat until like 3 or 4 so that was really nice so I've been like kind of eating junk food all day and that's like kind of embarrassing but whatever Valentine's Day was the other day, and I thought I could, I don't know if right now is the best time to talk about it, but what's better than now? That's the only thing that exists right now, so, but talking about things I have learned, and I hope people can learn from, is just like not putting anyone ahead of your self and I feel I can say that and it sounds twisted but like I've I have just what I mean by that in the context of what I mean I have like definitely obsessed with other people and before and I put those obsessions of people before me so I would suggest not doing that and it's like you kind of know like I kind of I knew that I was doing it but 
my delusion still. Um, were so important to me and mattered so much to me. And I, I mean, it gets to a point where you just have to focus on something else. Like, I suggest, like, putting all that time and energy into yourself. That's really, like, what it comes down to. Instead of putting it in someone else, like, putting it in you. All that time and energy. Put you first ahead of this person that has you blocked or... <laughs> like doesn't want to talk to you <laughs> like why would you put someone that doesn't want to talk to you before yourself the things we do as humans I know I'm not the only one that does that that's why um, like you're not alone if you do that you really aren't but I mean, like, I think about it, and I try not to be, like, embarrassed, like, my ego. Um, I mean, this is, like, part of me, and it's real, and I've spent a lot of time and energy on other people when I should have been focusing on myself and my personal growth and putting that love towards myself for me. ultimately for God, like, I put was putting these people in, like, the God position, it's like, what, these idols we make of people, have y'all seen that on HBO, it's good, yeah, so this podcast, like, I really, I talk about whatever comes to my mind and emotions and what I did that week, I just came from Louisville today, um, I went there Valentine's Day night, I got flowers from Neil, as well, if you're new here too, um, you can actually, like, listen or watch the episode where I talk about, I don't know if I just, maybe I just did my voice at that point, um, it's called I Met Someone, it was the episode where I literally filmed, like, like, right after I met him, basically. So you can hear that story and catch up. I've probably, I maybe mentioned him a lot. Um, he'll be on the pod one day, for sure. My hair is getting longer. I chopped my hair off myself, too. That's also been a journey on camera, so, and on the pod, like, I've not like a video of me cutting my hair but um that's what it's all been like such a blur but like I started cutting it during the summer and then did I start this in August like I don't know but like I just chopped my hair off I kept cutting it shorter and shorter um because it feels good to cut it off and to like make it more even it just got shorter and shorter and it's been like a few inches growth but me put some product in it probably that's what the lens is doing <laughs> my mind and my emotions yeah I'm brutally vulnerable um, that's what I was thinking about it right before I started filming, I have always felt very vulnerable. Always. And then I, um... Like, I've always just felt... Like, kind of out there. Like, in the sense that, like... Because I'm such an open book and, like, I put all of me out there. I can be, like, innocent in a way... The times that people, like, like, right when I meet, like, I don't know them that well, and if they say a joke, like, I don't understand that sarcasm. Like, right away, I'm like, oh, and then they're like, 
I'm joking, or sometimes I don't say that. <laughs> I'm thinking about Cheerios guy at Walgreens. Ugh. That's why I've said that story before, I'm sure, and um, it wasn't that long ago. Then I caught up with him, um, and I told him, I'm like, I had no idea, like, you were doing a joke, like, he was like, you look familiar. I'm like, you look familiar, too. Like, you don't happen to be the Cheerios guy, right? Or Mini Wheats. Maybe it was Mini Wheats. Um, and then my mom got, I told her the story, and then she was kind of the one that pointed out that he was joking. I'm like, but I don't get it. Like, it's just not funny for me. He said he was having a weird day. But he's like, walk into, next time you come into Walgreens, like, yell out mini wheats and you'll get a half off discount. Like, as I'm checking out, I'm like, what? Like, why? Like, just give me the discount now. Like, what do you mean? Like, it didn't make sense to me and it still kind of doesn't. Like, that's the type of sarcasm... I didn't get because I guess that there's like so many crazy things like that didn't seem that weird to me. Okay. Um if you're listening Thanks for listening. The car just got full on the camera. That's never happened before. Um, I don't have another camera with me. And I don't really care to do that right now. That's cool, though. That is so... Cool that we have this technology and that can do that. <laughs> mm. I'm not alone on this mini weeds thing, right? Like that like if you hurt if someone told you that on uh at Walgreens, like if you were in my position, like it, like is that would you all have gone and understood that was sarcasm? I guess I'm thinking about it right now, and I'm like, yeah, who wouldn't, like, get that, but I don't know. This wasn't funny to me. It wasn't heading at the right time. I guess it has to be the right time. Yeah, it feels different with the camera off a little bit. I like it. I'm so vulnerable when I'm out there. You know what I mean? I asked Neil if it snowed, and he said it sleeted for a little bit. Along with other texts, but sleeted. So I'm going to text back like, sleeted? Like, what? Kind of need to clip my toenails. Oh, yeah. I've been watching Jersey Shore a lot, and that's like Polly D's thing. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so I feel like my personality, like my emotions are my personality, or like... My mind is my personality. I took a personality class. That was interesting. This was, if you're new here also, I have studied a lot of psychology, interested in that. You know, the people that are interested in psychology are like, usually the people that always felt misunderstood as a kid or whatever. I relate. And if you relate to, I am here for you. Like, feeling misunderstood by people is definitely, like, not a, like, only you type of thing. Like, there's a lot of people, and it's usually the most interesting people. Maybe I won't say that. I'm looking at a mole right now. I'm trying to decide if there's a hair on it. Um, I don't think so, but it does look weird. 
I am still, I got a mole by my um, chin thing. No, I'm talking about, see, I'm tired. The one by my nose is the one that I'm probably more worried about. My mom had one, like, pop up, and she got it cut off, like, last week. <sighs> I had an option of cutting it off, and I didn't, because it reminded me of my dad, so I just kept it, but that's so what I'm trying not to regret that. I'm kind of getting hot in my thingy. I'm wearing my dad's um, sweatshirt I really like, but I want to talk positivity I don't I just realized that it kind of made me feel like I'm not here to complain or anything like this is I'm really grateful that I have been doing this and I'm like recording myself in this time and space in my life in this time of my life space in my life I don't know about that if that makes sense in this time of my life I really am I've didn't start talking till I was five like I think my voice has just been um something I've I'm growing into and using for good but um like saying what I mean meaning what I say not saying it mean <laughs> but really meaning what I say like I've been a people pleaser like long time and that that goes along with like the boy thing. I guess not every people pleaser has that thing with um, the boys or girls. The like obsession thing and putting them ahead of yourself but um, people pleasing has also been a part of that. That um, is not healthy. It really isn't. The only person we should be trying to please is God. So I guess we need to, like, everyone needs to reevaluate who they put in that, like, number one position in their life. And if you're not, that's if you're not happy, then I would look at that. Like, are you putting some substance? Are you putting work? Money? Ahead of anything? Now I'm cleaning my little thing. The dust was getting to me I can't believe there's a contact stuck to it I would find contacts like everywhere when I had them because I had the one a days I did the month long hi baby I love you you hear me talk I love you um yeah I had the month long ones for like not that long like in middle school for not that long. And then I started getting the dailies. Um, and. Oh she got another toy. But the dailies I just slick anyway. <laughs> when I'm in bed. Baby's confused by this ball. I so said she tried to walk around, then she couldn't earlier, and then I moved her, and then she knows I'm talking about her. I love you. You're my best friend. But really, I mean, talking out loud, like, is such a therapy for me, so that that's what I'm grateful that I'm doing this. I really am. I don't want to, like, ever not be grateful that I have my voice like it's not for anyone else this is a Ariel I know it's, she kind of sells her voice and that's kind of how I felt like it's like I felt like my voice wasn't even my own but my voice is my own and I can say whatever I want and that is the beauty of free will 
Adam and Eve, we choose to eat the apple because we had that choice. And it's beautiful that we do. I love you, baby. That's what... I'm kind of... I admit I'm a little upset with myself for eating so much junk food. But... <sighs> I don't regret it. Now, I'm going to take that into account and not eat as much. I'm really glad I have spent this time talking. Whoever's listening, if anyone's listening, that's what it's... Did I already talk about how much it surprises me that people listen? Um, it really does. But people actually do, and I just hope that you all receive some benefit from listening to this. <laughs> that's all. I hope you can learn something or just if you, uh, if this calms you down or if this, like you learn something from it, it calms you down, if this makes you laugh, if this, I'm sure there's other reasons. I am tired right now though and it's 926 and I love you all and I, ha I hope you all have a great time with life question it and use your voice for good all love love all see ya